Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of AirDrop in Mac OS X Line. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you requires terminal, and unfortunately, like a lot of neat things in OS X, it requires terminal to enable. So first of all, if you have an older Mac, especially some of the iMacs and MacBooks from 2008, you know, some of the older ones, they will not support AirDrop by default, and you cannot see the AirDrop menu or anything and it's supposedly a limitation of the hardware in those computers. But there's a way, using Terminal, that you can enable AirDrop on those old computers. So you can see right here in this window, I have my old 2008 iMac connected with screen sharing. And if I open up a new Finder window, you can see there is no option for AirDrop. If I go into Finder and Preferences, there is no option, under Sidebar of course, there's no option for AirDrop at all. So, what you can do is if you go into your Applications folder, and from there, Utilities, and Terminal, you can open this up, and here you're going to have to type in a command. And the command will be below the video, so you can copy and paste it, and that is defaults, space, write, space, com.apple.networkbrowser, browse all interfaces, space one and browse all interfaces is one word capital letters on B A and I and then from there you can hit enter so then you'll type in kill all as one word space finder capital F hit enter finder will quit and then relaunch now when I initially tried this on my 2008 iMac my new iMac was not able to see the old iMac so what you have to do in this case is you have to run the same command on the other computer that you'll want to use AirDrop with. So by running the command on both of my iMacs, when I opened up a new Finder window and I click on AirDrop, you can see that both computers can see each other with AirDrop now. And this is something previously unavailable with the old iMac. Enabled, there's a couple things that you can do with AirDrop that you might not know about if you've used it already. First one is that it's pretty common, but you can use multiple items if you didn't know that. So if I want to drag all four of these screenshots to the old iMac, I can do that. So it stacks them up like this and just kind of goes one by one. And this is easy instead of having to put all the items into a zip folder or something like that. It's you know just an easy little thing. You can drag multiple files. Now unfortunately I can't demonstrate this one, but you can actually put items in a queue. So if I had let's say an iMac and a MacBook connected, what I could do is I could drag files to the iMac, and while those were transferring, I could drag files to the MacBook too, and those would wait in the queue, and when the iMac was finished transferring its files, then the MacBook would start. So you can kind of get things ready to go and not have to sit there and wait the whole time for files to transfer, so that's neat as well. You, another neat thing that you might not notice if you, if you don't have a download stack in your dock, you can see my download stack here, when I drag these screenshots to my new iMac and I accept them over here, if you look at my download stack, you can see a little progress bar. So if you're transferring large files, it's kind of neat because you can just glance at it quick and see what progress your transfer is at. And if you're sick of AirDrop altogether, you can hold down the Command key on your Mac and just click and drag AirDrop out of your favorites bar on the side and it's gone just like that and you don't have to worry about AirDrop anymore. And last but not least, if you still can't get AirDrop to work on your old Macs and you still want an easy way to transfer files, there's an application you can check out and it's called Drop Copy. And it does pretty much the exact same thing as AirDrop. Not quite as elegant, but it does work fairly well. And you can see it running in my menu bar here. And I'll have a link to that application if you want to download it. So there you go, there's how you can get the most out of AirDrop in Mac OS X Line. If you have any how-tos that you'd like to see me do, please send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.